This is a Piston Guide oil seal replacement video for the EWM series. The tools you will need for this repair include a ratchet, a 5mm hex, two pry bars, a torque wrench, a soft rubber mallet, a hook tool, a round head tool, silicone packing lubricant, two M5 by 1mm thread positioning pins, a slide hammer part number F2601940, an 18mm collet part number 27124900, a seal extraction tool part number F2780130, and a seal insertion tool part number F27801800. Use a ratchet with a 5mm hex to remove the 8 manifold retaining bolts. Use a soft rubber mallet to separate the manifold from the crankcase. Use two pry bars to further separate the manifold from the crankcase. Pull the manifold off the crankcase. If the packing assembly remains on the plunger, remove the packing assembly. Remove the low pressure washers. Use a hook tool and a round head tool to remove the flinger washer. Rotate the crankshaft until the piston guide is at its innermost position in the crankcase. Use a slide hammer with the oil seal removal tool with the tool facing towards the top of the crankcase and insert it into the crankcase to remove the oil seal. Install a new seal, spring side down, onto the insertion tool. Insert the insertion tool and use a soft rubber mallet to fully insert the new oil seal. Install the flinger back onto the guide. Install the plunger onto the piston guide. Place the new seal washer onto the plunger bolt. Install the flinger onto the piston guide. Thread the plunger bolt into the plunger. Use a torque wrench with an 8mm socket and tighten to the specifications. Install the low pressure seal retainer washer with the shoulder side towards the crankcase. Thread the two positioning pins into the top two outer threads. Apply silicone lubricant onto the surface of the low pressure seal in the manifold packing bore. Install the manifold until it is fully seated back onto the crankcase. Install six of the manifold retaining bolts into the open threads. Use a 5mm hex to tighten each of the bolts in the proper order as shown in the diagram. Remove the two positioning pins. Thread the last two manifold retaining bolts. Use a ratchet with a 5mm hex to tighten the last two manifold retaining bolts. Use a torque wrench with a 5mm hex and tighten the bolts to the proper specifications.